Our previous video covered mesh boolean. In this video, we'll introduce negative part. So what's the difference between negative part and mesh boolean? Using the mesh boolean feature directly modifies the model. Adding negative part to the model does not directly alter the model. The effect will only be visible after slicing the model. Let's discuss the common applications of negative parts. In the first scenario, we'll use this pool model. We want to fix the dolphin to the center to enhance the model's aesthetic appeal. In such cases, the quickest solution is to add a negative part of the dolphin model to the pool model. Then, adjust the size and position, which is like reserving the dolphin model's position in the pool model in advance. The nozzle's diameter and material properties both affect the model's level of detail, so we need to appropriately reduce the size of the dolphin model to fit the reserve space within the pool model. This allows us to print using different filaments, presenting the models according to our vision. The second scenario involves something like this kitten sculpture. If we want to turn it into a pendant, we have to drill a hole in its ear to thread a cord through. Simply add a cylindrical negative part to this model, though other models can be used as well. Then adjust the size and position of the negative part as needed, and proceed with slicing and printing. If you want text to be embedded or hollowed out within the model, add the text and set it as a negative part. Then adjust the text size and position, and slice it for printing. We hope these handy tips help you get the most out of your 3D printing experience. Follow us to learn more about 3D printing knowledge.